Starting the school year after Labor Day, the governor is planning a major announcement this week that will affect all Maryland public school students. It comes as dozens of Baltimore County schools are closed again today because of the heat. WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren live at Lansdowne Elementary School, one of dozens of campuses without air conditioning tonight. Mike? Vic, we expect the governor is going to announce an executive order that would push the start of school until after Labor Day for schools across Maryland. But for many people here in Baltimore County, they just want the classrooms to be open for their kids now. Baltimore County schools that should be teeming with children have the windows open and the doors shut yet again because they don't have air conditioning, and that has parents steaming. It puts a serious strain on single parents, parents who make minimum wage. These schools are like greenhouses now, and so we cannot have children sitting in a hot car scenario. That, if we continue doing, is institutionalized child abuse. Right now, 37 county schools lack AC, a number that's not shrinking fast enough. Under a new policy, schools close when the heat index goes above 90, coming after many teachers and parents posted pictures of thermometers showing some classrooms above 105 degrees. It's become a hot button political issue, with the governor demanding the county install portable air conditioners immediately and the county executive saying that's not possible. You know, these schools are more than 40 years old, so is the wiring, and it would cost us as much money to redo the wiring and install temporary units that don't last a long period of time than it would to put in permanent central air. Governor Hogan will make a major announcement Wednesday. It's believed he'll order all Maryland schools wait until after Labor Day to open next year. We can't find anybody who's opposed to starting school after Labor Day. In a new video, the comptroller and Ocean City Mayor are also pushing the idea, but in Baltimore County, the biggest problem is getting students back to class now. It's not about the governor or the executive or anybody. It's just about our kids. They want to be in school. My kids want to be in school, and they're not. And the school board may revise its hot weather closure policy at a meeting tomorrow night. Live in Lansdowne, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you. The Baltimore County Executive notes when he came into office, 90 schools had no air conditioning. He says the number should be down to 13 next year, and all schools should have AC by 2019.